Hi, and welcome to the second hour of Focal Point on AFR Talk. I am Brian Fisher, your congenial, convivial, and amiable host. Great to have you in the conversation uh, today on this uh, Tuesday edition of uh, Focal Point. Uh, By the way, just looking at a story right here on the news break, Walmart now is joining up with American Express to offer a prepaid debit card. It's going to start next week. Now, if you've lost your free checking, and a lot of people have because of Dodd-Frank, you have Democrats and liberals to thank for that. Dodd-Frank, with all these ridiculous regulations they're imposing on banks, has basically uh, basically eliminated free checking. That's virtually gone, or you have to have such high minimum balances. And that money, of course, isn't working for you. If you, you got it locked up in the bank just to give you free checking, uh, then it's costing you something because you, there, that's money you can't use to invest and generate interest on so what Walmart's doing is they're going to come out with this um, prepaid debit card. It's going to function like a checking account. You got you you can't use the debit card unless you've got money in the account. So you got to go down there. You got to deposit money in your prepaid debit card. Then you can go out and spend it. So it's essentially like a checking account, but there are no minimum balance requirements, and there are no monthly or annual fees. So Walmart, again, this is, the, this is the beauty of the American system, the creativity, the ingenuity. Who would have thought that American Express would be teaming up with Walmart to provide a credit-type card? It's a debit card, not a credit card, to the shoppers that shop at Walmart. You wouldn't think American Express would be caught dead in the aisle of a Walmart, but there they are. Again, that's the beauty of American free enterprise. So now you're going to have banks. They're going to be losing money. Banks are going to be losing customers. They're going to be losing accounts to Walmart. Why? Because of Dodd-Frank. Not because they don't have the capacity to offer good services or offer free checking. They do. It's Dodd-Frank. It makes it impossible. Walmart and their prepaid debit card, they're not going to be under Dodd-Frank. So they're going to be stiff competition now for banks who are going to be hamstrung by this ridiculous, absurd batch of regulations from Dodd-Frank. Thank you, liberals. Thank you, Democrats. Let's go to Leroy. Whoops, I guess we just lost Leroy. I was going to bring him on to talk about Mitt Romney's Mormonism, but he is gone. Just missed him. So sorry about that, Leroy. Well, let's uh, grab a couple of more sound bites coming back out of our news break. Let's grab clip number four. Uh, now, here is the Obama team. And I told you top of the program, the Obama team or the Sesame Street has already come out that you got to pull this down. Take this off the air. Here is the Obama campaign team. And you'll hear Obama's voice first thing on the commercial, taking advantage of the dust up over Big Bird to take a swing at Mitt Romney. Let's listen. I'm Barack Obama, and I approve this message. Bernie Madoff, Ken Lay, Dennis Kozlowski, criminals, gluttons of greed, and the evil genius who towered over them. One man has the guts to speak his name. Big Bird. Big Bird. Big Bird. It's me, Big Bird. Big, yellow, a menace to our economy. Mitt Romney knows it's not Wall Street you have to worry about. It's Sesame Street. I'm going to stop the subsidy to PBS. Mitt Romney taking on our enemies no matter where they nest. (laughs) And here's the story on Politico. Production company behind Sesame Street is asking political campaigns to refrain from using their characters and campaign ads, including an Obama campaign that uses Big Bird. Quote, we do not endorse candidates or participate in political campaigns. We have requested that the ad be taken down. And, uh, you know, the other day, uh, Barack Obama quoted Andrea Mitchell in one of their campaign ads, and that just frosted Andrea Mitchell. And she told him to stop using her and her quotes. Now, they got fair use right to use it. There's not a thing she can do about it, but she is upset. So it's interesting that some of these media types, you'd normally think Big Bird would be completely in the tank for Barack Obama because it's not Barack Obama that wants to cut off the food supply to a Big Bird. It's Mitt Romney. So you'd think they would be happy to be used in an Obama ad, but they're saying, no, we want out of this. We don't want to get caught in the crossfire here uh, whatsoever. Uh, Let's play clip number five. This is Barack Obama. Now, Barack Obama basically admitting in this clip that he laid a big, fat goose egg in last week's debate. He's yucking it up at a high-priced Hollywood fundraiser. Here's what he had to say. And everybody here is incredible professionals. They're they're such great friends, and... Uh, They just perform flawlessly, night after night. Uh, I can't always say the same. I can't always say the same. Kind of a 
tongue-in-cheek reference to his disastrous debate performance last Wednesday. Now, here's James Carville. Now, you know, the, the latest thing that was going on is the Democrats were blaming Mitt Romney's debate performance on Jim Lara. It was his fault. He wasn't aggressive enough as a moderator. He let Romney get away with telling these bald-faced lies. He should have intervened. He should have stopped it. Uh, he's like supposed to be like a referee, and you got one uh, boxer being pummeled into submission. He's bleeding over both eyes. He's crumpled on the canvas. He's the guy that's got to come in and stop the fight. That's essentially what they're saying Jim Lehrer uh, should have done. And here's James Carville, big-time uh, Democrat, uh, saying, nope, that is not the explanation. Let's listen. Look, they asked one time Lee Trevino, a great golfer, was having trouble with, with putting. And they asked him if he thought he needed a new putter. And he famously said, no, it's not the Arab, it's the Indian. Okay? It's not Jim Lair. The, the President Obama was sitting right there. He could have, he could have confronted but, the, Governor Romney on any number of issues yeah, and drawn but, a distinction. Now, I got to work on my James Carville. It's not the era, it's the Indian. I don't know. Talk about gumbo and all kind of stuff. I'll work on my James uh, Carville. It's not uh, obviously not ready for prime time. But Carville's saying, look, Obama was right there. It's not up to Jim Lehrer to call Mitt Romney out and confront him if the Obama campaign thinks that Mitt Romney is saying things which are not true, which he wasn't doing. What James Carver was saying as a Democrat, look, that's not Jim Lehrer's problem. He's a moderator. He's not supposed to take sides. And Barack Obama's sitting right there. Why didn't he defend himself? Why didn't he say something? And as a pretty good analogy, uh, the Elite Trevino analogy, where he's got putting problems, and they ask him if he needs a new putter, and he said, nope. Don't need a new putter. Don't need a new club. Need a new putter, meaning the golfer. It's not the arrow. It is the Indian. Now, when we come back on the other side of the break, I want to play some excerpts from uh, Mitt Romney's speech yesterday on foreign policy. Pretty strong. I didn't agree with all of it, and I'll tell you where I disagreed. But we'll play that on the other side of the break. And just some uh, polling data to get you up to speed on the campaign there's an ARG poll. I don't even know what that stands for, but it's a reputable poll coming out of Ohio. And they've got Romney leading 48-47 in Ohio, which is a battleground state. Now remember, the key states here are Ohio, Virginia, and Florida. Most people think that uh, those three states are going to determine who our next president is. And now in Ohio, which is kind of a classic blue-collar state, Romney is up 48-47. And that is in a poll that oversampled Democrats by nine points. 42% of the sample population was Democrat, just 33% Republicans. So they oversampled Democrats by nine, and Romney still winds up leading by one. And remember, he's got a huge lead in the enthusiasm gap, about 13 points up uh, over Obama. And in Ohio, this ARG poll shows that Romney is winning independence by 20 points, 57-37. I think overall, in the 11 swing states, Romney is up by 16 points right now among uh, independents. So uh, according to this piece on Breitbart.com, we've got three polls now that show Romney statistically tied in Ohio and two that show Obama well below the 50% mark. Uh, on uh, favorable. So the Rasmussen poll, uh, 11 key states, all of which were won by Barack Obama 2008. They've got Romney up now on those 11 battleground states, up by 249-47. Poke a point, Amber Talk, back in two.